Welcome back to the Romania River channel in my playthrough of Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition Heavily Modded. Because there's no fun without proper mods. So you can't see where the fuck you're going because there's a fucking sandstorm. There's a structure up ahead. What's around though? Hey boy! What's coming? Radstorm. Just check where I am. Uh -huh. Getting hit with rats. They're above. You would think being under cover would help, but no. It most certainly does not. What's up here? Storm pass, huh? Quite nice for a post apocalyptic hellhole.
By the way, sorry for any skippages in the footage, but yeah, CPU recording stuff is demanding to say the least. Because I only have a uh, Xeon 4 core 8 thread. They sound like a lot of people are still stuck on quad core, oh, mm, well, a traditional quad core or a uh, actual dual core, but trust me, for recording, it's not being ad adequate enough. What in the actual fuck? Look at that. Wow! Okay, they're not to be fucked with. In terms of taking them for granted. Cleaning and greasing the slide of an automatic pistol is important. Is there even weapon maintenance in this game? I know it was to a degree in, uh, what was it called? Fallout 3 and I believe New Vegas, but... Not in, uh, this one. That looks impressive. Come on, babe. You know, this is the kind of place I would really need silence help. Okay, is this sort of the shite? Oh, come on. Stop healing. They hit me in the fucking head. Who the hell are the gunners? And why do they hit so hard? And why do they have so much health stuff? Is this? Yeah, that's it. Thank God I didn't meet whoever needed that. Oh boy. Let's see, can I improve on something? 
handmade bolt action pistol, handmade revolver, laser pistol. auto pistol this might actually be a good thing And what else can we dick around with? to be sure that I do everything right. Militia. K Q. We're gonna set you to six. Okay. This should be good for now. Let me just make sure, yeah, this is why I check everywhere, because I have the tension span of a mo- Nice. Oh, nice. Nightingale from time to time, or for something a little bit more Commonly used red X right away. Okay. So I clean this place out. Let me just quickly loot this thing. Of course, I have too much. I always have too much. Pipe, where are you? Piper. Come here. Hey. Point the way. Okay. Spoon.
Hmm. Cheeky no breaky. Now, a barrel. That should help a bit. I wonder what sort of rounds this thing uses, because I didn't actually pay attention. Oh well, I'm gonna find out one way or another. Good way or not. Let me just actually change some stuff. Q, put it 5, 8. Stim, 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 put it at 6. And where should I go next? Gotta make sure everything's done. When the Institute found the blueprints of the Watch 3000, they changed the scheme to use the resources. Yeah, this is one of the mods I added in, in the interim, just to continue spicing stuff up. I can't wait to get my hands on one of these. They look so freaking cool. I mean, just look at the damn thing. Ooh, you got a minute? Yeah, the, this sounds like me. I'm a bit of a bastard. For you, Piper, two minutes. Well, maybe even two and a half. Oh, uh, great. Weird, but great. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she gonna have if I never go near her again? It's just... Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with a nosy reporter. Do people actively avoid you? Well, yeah. I mean, I didn't exactly start the paper to make friends. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. Turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. Sounds like you really cleaned up Diamond City. Well, a lot of things got done. They even put a second bookshelf over that hole and patched it with bricks. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. I started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but... Being here with you now... Now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you. For being the friend I can count on. It sounds to me like... You're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I... I mean... <laughs> well, I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just... Blue. <laughs> I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me?
You don't need to be flawless, Piper. You're perfect for me. Perfect, huh? <laughs> that's uh that's a new one. Well, hmm. Well, I think you're perfect too. <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on. Let's not keep the world waiting. You having reached the highest level of affinity of Piper, you've gained the gift of gab perk. Okay. Large barrel. Now there were some dogs around. There. You see him? Well, this does the job quite well. Oh boy. Well, at least I didn't have to save scum to get the right reaction. Now let's actually see about that radar dish. Ooh. USF station, satellite station Olivia. I think whatever it must be, it must be up top. Means climbing. Guess we're not interested in sharing, huh? <laughs> you could say that. I'm afraid to even ask what they were doing with that. Underneath me, that's weird. So, it must be directly underneath. Wonder what it is. I was kind of hoping it was dealing with the dish itself and not actually making me go inside, but I don't know. Papiron, please. Someone's not interested in visitors. No, it's above. I don't get this. I really don't. Hey, you still there? Hmm. Hello, Eddie Pipe. I won't ever leave you. Okay, so. Something around here. That's one way to keep out uninvited guests. Either above or below. Let me just check what the hell is that? Well actually it's twenty-five minutes, so I'm going to have to leave it off here and see what the hell that is next time. Thank you for watching, or more precisely surviving up until this point, because guys know the editing's kinda interesting and my voice has a melodic tone to it. 
If you like what you saw, feel free to hit the subscribe button, like button, it does help out the statistics of the channel, gets more visible, you know, stuff like that. And to be honest, at one point I would like to actually make this a job so I can do better content with better quality, more games, more coverage, you know, stuff like that. Take care.